Hi everybody, I just wanted to do a quick video about updating your Daisy Namalsk server because you may well have installed Namalsk and got it running very nicely but recently, as of the 13th of March 2021, Adam has released an update and I just wanted to go through some of the things you uh, might want to be aware of before you do the update because there's a few more things you've got to do than, you, than again you might be aware of. So first thing to do obviously is to go over to nightstalkers.cz and read about the update um, and I'll, don't worry I'll put a link to all these uh, places in the description below the video um, go to Sumrack's um, a, a github and and be aware of uh, the, the notes in there and make yourself a part of the Namalsk um, uh, discord as well so you can read the various various notes in there as well but as with most things to update uh, things it all starts with Steam. So when you're subscribed to um, Steam, when, you, when you're when you Steam, obviously if you own Daisy you are, and you're subscribed to the Namalsk Survival and Namalsk Island mods, when you fire up Steam and there's been an update, it will then download those updates to your computer uh, as part of updating the game as well. And the updates we need to update our server are included in those files. So let, let me tell you what I mean. So if you fire up the Daisy launcher, uh, it'll probably look something like this. Then go to um, go to your mods, and then just find the Namalsk mods. So we go Namalsk Island, Namalsk Survival. Doesn't matter which one. Click on the little arrow on the right. Click on these three little dots, and click on Open Folder in Windows Explorer. It's going to warn you saying, "Don't mess with these files because you'll you'll stop the game working." But I understand that. So this and then opens the folder with all your add-ons in. And if we look inside these add-ons. We're looking for a folder called Extras. It's in, right, it's in the Malsk Survival. So here we go. So if we click on this Extras a bit, we can see we've got Hardcore and Regular. And if we click on these, the this is the, the, the folder that contains the hidden stuff that sometimes people forget to update. And this is the Missions folder. So if we click on Regular.Namalsk, you can see we've got all the missions here. So we need to make sure we update that. And then the other thing we might need to update is the server dz.config file. And this might be because Sumrack, sorry, when I say Sumrack, that's Adam, um, or Night Stalker, whatever he prefers to be called, or um, Namalsk Survivor, I think he's called as well. But it's, uh, his name's Adam, the guy behind um, Namalsk, and also the guy who happens to be the lead developer on DayZ at the moment. Um, he may well have decided to change the config. Now, the config kind of sets up things like the the, the, the way that the server works in terms of the the the, um, the way that time passes and various other things as well. Okay, so let's let's dive in now. Now we know those things. Let's look at how you would update your server. So, you fire up your FTP program. I use FileZilla, and you'll want to, you know, um, whoop. you'll want to. Um, connect to your Namalsk um, server, which I am now. So what you see here is on the left-hand side, these are all my local files. So I've gone to the, the folder that's got my add-ons in, and the, on the right-hand side, this is the server. Um, so we've got Daisy standalone. So all we want to do really is just scroll down on the left to find all the Namalsk stuff. Here it is. And then we'd right-click on Namalsk survival and say upload, and that will then upload it. You'll probably get some warning sale. Do you want to delete or overwrite or whatever? And just overwrite the stuff. Namalsk survival. Right click upload. Now none of this should get rid of any player's uh, progress. Because you're not um, doing anything with the DB folder. Um, sorry. Is it the DB folder? You're not doing anything with the folder that has all the information in about where people are and what they've got and their bases and stuff like that. So, so don't worry about that. Now once those have uploaded... This is where some people stop and forget to do the extra bits. Um, because it will work, your server will work, but it won't have the updated missions folder. And the updated missions folder, and missions files, may well have additional items in that need to spawn in the world or, or balance changes and all this sort of stuff. So this is why we need to click on um, the mouse survival to expand it and then go into those extras. And depending if you're running on hardcore or regular mode, this is where you open up and see there we've got regular in the mouse. So on the right hand side, I need, now need to go down and go into my missions folder and see there's regular Namalsk. So I'll just click on missions there, click on the left, right click, upload, and that will then replace the old Namalsk um, mission with the new one, but it won't delete 
Um, store is storage. There we go. Storage one is the one that has the stuff in. Is it? If we open this up, you'll see there is no storage one folder, so it's going to going to keep that. So that has now updated the missions folder. However, we haven't at this point updated the um, updated the server config. Now, you may not have direct access to your server config, and it's not completely necessary that you do this because you may well be running a, a custom server config in other words you might be running custom day and night uh, speed multiplication you know for the rate that, that it passes so for example with nitrado you don't get direct asset you don't get direct access to the service server.dz.config file but the way you get to it is you go into your um, go into your server go into the web interface and you go into um, expert settings and when you click on expert settings if you look at the top it says up here serverdz.config so this is the serverdz.config file um, you can see there so to get into my server my um, Namal server um, the password is Bruce um, if you're interested if you want to have a go on it um, but it probably will be changing very, very quickly after I've done this video <laughs> and then you've got things like server time acceleration and how uh, thing you can have things like where the base rating works and stuff like that. And what you want to do is you just want to conf um, compare this with the serverdz.config that we looked at earlier that we accessed from the, the launcher. So if you edit that with Notepad++ or Notepad or whatever, you'll see it opens it up and you can look at server time, server nighttime acceleration. These are the custom things here, sorry. Um, Server time acceleration, server time persistent, disable personal light, lighting config, 223, default visibility. So what you want to do is you want to go in, and if you want an experience as Adam would want it, then um, you would go in and, and you would then change those things to be the same as what he's said. You know, um, here we are, just down here. So there we go. Then what you want to do is you want to restart your server, um, fire it up, um, crack on. And um, yeah, you'll have an updated Namal server. So there we go. Hopefully you found that useful. If you have, you know, hit the like button. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.